Hello everyone. In this video, we will be doing Cambridge A-Level Information Technology, Paper 4, March 2020, The Animation Task. I have already done question 1, which is spreadsheet. Question 2, which is mail merge. Question 3, graphics. This is already done and it has been uploaded. You can get the links in the description. So in this video, I'll be doing the question 4, which is the animation task. So here you can see, create an animation of Wi-Fi waves continually radiating from the tip of the antenna. Set the frame size to 250 by 250 pixels. Keep the proportions as shown. The animation must develop as shown. Each arc must take one second to grow and disappear. So we have, we have to create an animation in which in the first second this arc will appear. In the second, uh, the second one this, this arc will appear. And in the third one, the third one will appear. So, this animation has 3 seconds. So, let us start. For doing this, we need an antenna which is shaped like this. You can use the antenna which is done in the previous section. If you have saved it. Otherwise, I will just show you how to create the antenna. Take illustrator. In Illustrator, create a new artboard which must be 250 by 250 pixels. Create. So let us create the antenna. In order to create the antenna, I am using a pen tool open the pen tool click two points like this press shift and click so that it's a straight line create a figure like this now let us use the curvature tool to curve this part so this is the shape of the antenna you can reduce the width little now give a gradient as shown here a gray gradient has to be given as shown here so select this select the gradient from here so we have the gradient and we have the shape of the antenna this one now let us save this go to file export export as I am exporting as a PNG file as antenna. I have already done the antenna and saved it. So this is the way you save the antenna. Click on export. It will be saved. Now as I have already done, I am not exporting it. Now let us start the animation. I am using Adobe Animate 2019. According to the question, the stage size is 250 by 250 pixels. So let us create a new animation. Width is 250. And height is also 250. I am setting the frame rate as 30 fps. Click on create.
so this is the stage where we are going to set the animation let us zoom in click on view zoom in so the first layer layer in the first layer we will import the antenna so i'll rename this as rename this as antenna this layer click on file import import to stage select the antenna here open place it this way select it check the alignment align to stage align horizontal and align vertical this one I'll just keep it this way now according to the question this will take the whole animation will take three seconds as as each arc will take one second to appear and So the whole animation will be 3 seconds. So I'll set the animation to be 3 seconds. Click here. Insert frame. So our first layer which is the antenna is set. Now let us create a new layer for the arcs. So first we'll create the arc. Click on the line tool. Draw the line like this. And choose the selection tool so that we can make a curve out of it. copy this so that we can create a rotated shape copy and paste now let us rotate this using the free transform select the free transform tool from here then rotate it when you are rotating if you press the shift key it will rotate by 45 degree so that it will be straight now keep it like this let us set the position so this is the position for the first R Let's click here. Let us save this as a symbol. Right click, convert to simple. I will save as arc1 so that it will be saved in the library. Now let us create the second and third arc. For this, I'll just copy this and paste it. You can see here, this is the copy. Now using the free transform tool, let's make it bigger, so that we can position it like this. Now let us convert this to another symbol and this will be R2. Now copy this, create a copy, make it bigger, press the shift key so that 
it does not get distorted now this is placed properly so this is the way it should look like after the animation now let us save this as r3 convert to symbol arc 3 okay now you can see all these are saved here arc 1 so now we can use this anywhere on any layer so now let's remove this only this will be there so the second layer is for arc 1 arc 1 third layer fourth layer third layer is for arc 2 next layer is for arc 3 so in arc 2 i'll just drag from the library i'll just drag arc 2 here and just keep it in the proper position now on this layer i'll drag arc 3 Keep it in the proper position. Now, let us give animation for all the layers. Insert motion twin. Insert motion twin. All the layers for the arcs are given motion twin. Now let us use the opacity property for making the arcs appear. So at the beginning all the arcs must, no arc must appear. So I will click here at the beginning at the keyframe on properties, select the arc, go to style, alpha, alpha means the opacity or the appearance level, alpha make it zero for all the arcs at the beginning nothing should be visible so take the alpha make it zero for this layer set the alpha to zero now for arc one first second in the first second arc one should appear so I'll keep here on the first second for arc one and select the selected the alpha to be hundred percent so that it will appear for the next arc on this layer at this at two seconds this must appear so just click on it then only this option will appear make this 100% and at the third second the last arc will appear set this to 100% now when this appears at this point this arc must be zero now nothing should appear because slightly because since we have given 100 percent here slight appearance will be shown so click here and make sure it is zero only the alpha must be zero same way at this position for this arc also it must be zero same way at this position this arc must be zero Now let us see the animation. Press Ctrl Enter. You can see the animation. So this is how we need. Each arc is appearing. And at a point all the three arcs are shown.
so once the animation is done we have to save the animation as an animated gif named wi-fi followed by your sender number candidate number for that go to file export export as animated gif click on save you must save as wi-fi underscore center number candidate number make sure it is gif image save now you can see your folder this is your folder in which this is the gif file wi-fi so select this one you can see the animation each arc is appear in one second so this is the animation which we require the next task is the web programming task that has been uploaded the link is provided in the description so please watch my videos keep liking comment and subscribe and let me know the suggestions thank you